Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another Sprocket video. Today we are doing the, um, what is this, the ambush map? Uh, essentially we need to build a tank that can actually make it to the end while being attacked from all sides pretty much by, uh, random other tanks. Uh, this is an interwar mission, so we have to build something that's pretty low tech, but, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Hey! Okay, so honestly, I've been saying that I'm going to build a light tank for a long time now, but uh, I haven't really done it. Uh, so let's go ahead and attempt to do it at least this time. So 3.5 meters long by 1.5 meters wide. Yes, that is a little tank. Indeed it is. Actually, let's go with 4. Let's go with 4 by 1.5. There we go. That's a tiny tank indeed. Yeah, so we're going to roll with this and hopefully we can make it look nice and also actually work quite well. So yeah. Okie dokie, first things first, I've actually gone ahead and moved this all the way out to the side because I think that makes a lot of sense. We're also then gonna- what the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? We don't want that, we don't want that. Uh, I'm thinking we actually drop this back to about there, which is quite a distance, but that is A-OK. -okay. And then we actually go ahead and we make the, uh, the turret a lot smaller because it shouldn't really be this big on a tank that is not that big. So there we go, something like that actually makes sense. Yeah. Alright, let's lower it down a little bit as well. It's seemingly a little bit chonky. We're going to go ahead and move this out to the side, and we're also going to move this out to the side. And I actually think... Oh, backwards a tiny touch. There we go. I want the front and the back of this to look exactly the same. We're also going to make this 0.5 long instead, because, uh, reasons. Okay, so front, angle is 0, 0.5. Alright, here we go. 0.5 for the length there, 0.5 for the length there. 37 and 37, there we go, 53 and 53, bam! Alright, there we go, so it's it's the same on front and back, and that is awesome. Okie dokie, so now we need a tiny gun. We need like a little baby gun actually, we're going to go with this guy, and we're going to put it off to the side, because I think that makes sense, and yes, it is not going to be anywhere near that big. We're going to go with a 35mm uh, round. There we go, and we're going to go with the length of, like, 20. There we go. Actually, uh, not 0.2. There we go. Not, not 0.2. There we go. All right, very good. So, now we actually need the length of this guy to go all the way back and all the way back. Oh, my God. Okay. What the heck? I think it might need to be a little bit bigger. I'm not going to lie. So, we're actually going to make the length of it 3. There we go. Get rid of that as well. Okay, good. And, oh my god, <laughs> what in the world? That ain't it. No, shell length must have to be way longer then. All right, we're going to make this 0 0.8. There we go, 0 0.8, very good, by 40. That's still a pretty good gun, actually. All right, cool, so extend this out forwards. That's pretty awesome. Get rid of the end, and that's it. Tiny gun, but that's awesome. Very nice. Okie dokie, length of this actually should go all the way out to there now. What in the world? That's not right. I want it to be smaller. Like, I want it to be way smaller. So we're going to go with 40, 40. 40, 0 0.4. Yeah, all right, cool. So I'll lower this down to there. And that seems about right to me. Penetration is 43. That seems fine. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to roll with that. That's fine. All right, so going to view a site thingamabobby is going to go right next to it. And that is actually pretty awesome. Yeah. Okie dokie then. All right, this seems too wide still. It actually seems way too wide. Now, the reason being is because the sides are actually way too wide. Uh, this actually needs to be split pretty much in half, so we're going to do that. We're going to go to mobility, go to fenders. We're going to make this go all the way across to there as well. And then, actually, the tracks themselves should probably be smaller too. So, tracks, there we go, all the way in to about there. That's awesome. And we'll get those fixed in. Yes. Okay, so idler, delete one of those. There we go, but the width of this one's going to be bigger. There we go, that is very nice indeedy. Uh, the road wheels, we're going to go ahead and get rid of one of those as well. There we go, very nice. And that's pretty good. We're also going to make the diameter of these guys way bigger, and we'll have the tank look like that. That's actually pretty sick. Uh, the sprocket at the back, if I can make it way bigger, that'd be awesome. There we go, lower it down. Diameter huge. There we go, bring it backwards, and there we go. That is nice. Yeah, I actually really like this so far. Okie dokie. So what else do we actually need? I need to make the uh, the wheels look nice. So I'm actually thinking we go with 
we're gonna go with this. This is probably my favorite type. So we're gonna go with those. We're gonna go with those. There we go. Suspension. Leave it as is. Uh, those guys on there. And that's pretty much it. The tracks themselves are gonna look like this. Alright, perfect. And that's pretty cool, actually. Alright, angle these guys to go with the rest of it. That's fine. And I actually think that looks pretty good. Alright, base, hull. We're gonna angle this in a little bit. And that actually looks pretty sick. I like it. Okie dokie, so with all that being said then, how about we go ahead and we attach... Oh, those would be cool, but we're not going to. Riveted panels would be kind of nice. Uh, especially if we can fit them in the right places. So I'm thinking, right there would be nice. Mm, do we need big ones? I think we might even need big ones. Okie dokie, let's put a big one right there. There we go, and that is actually too big. Oh my, they're actually too big. That's crazy, we need to make them even smaller. Uh, but actually, if we're doing that, we're going to make these smaller. And we'll put them right there. Even smaller than that? Jeez Louise. Alright, tiny bit bigger. There we go. Alright, cool. So we're going to multiply this all the way along. Alright, and that's going to be pretty fan dabby dozy. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try and make it as good as possible. Those are going to go in, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to go ahead and place a few of these, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, would you look at that? That looks really, really strange, actually. Because this sprocket is so big, it looks really, really weird. Uh, it does. It looks really, really strange. But that's okay for right now. We're going to go ahead and get rid of one of, eh, get rid of one of those rollers. And then we're going to go ahead and put that in until it fits. Okay, yeah. That actually is pretty good. Okie dokie. Go back to the fenders. There we go. We are going to go ahead and offset the front backwards to about this point, And that looks smart. Yeah, that actually works. Okie dokie. And then that is actually pretty much it. We are so far off the ground um, that it's weird. So go back to base. Lower section is actually going to be one meter. There we go. But then if I can, I'm going to raise everything up to fit it. No, actually, that's a bad idea. Let's just keep it how it was. There we go. All right, that's fine. Looks really strange, but we're, we're rolling with it. We are rolling with it. Looks really weird. It does, it does, it does. But well, we're going to keep it. Okay, good. Uh, mobility, everything in there is fine. Uh, obviously, we don't have that much room, and the gun does. The gun does actually have room. Uh, light engine, that would be great, but we are going to be slow. So let's go with a four-cylinder. Yeah. Okay, right. Two, five hundred. Two, four hundred, sorry. Two, four hundred. There we go. That's eight per ton. That's actually amazing. Yeah. And then one, two hundred for this bit. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that totally works. If I can, we're going to go to the tracks. We're actually going to drag these in a good chunk like that. And we are going to have smaller these wheels. A slightly smaller sprocket as well. Diameter of this is far too big. There we go. We're going to lift that up to about there. Okay, good. And then these wheels in the middle, tiny bit smaller. So we can fit another one. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that looks okay. Good. Okie dokie. I've gone ahead and added some uh, spare tracks right there because that just makes sense. We are going to go ahead and put one of these on the front of here. Now you guys might be thinking, that is a silly idea. And you'd probably, probably be correct. However, it is a interwar tank, it is not a new tank, and it is not a World War II tank. So, it being a little bit off is completely fine. Alright, I know it's a weak point, but we're going to roll with it anyway, uh, because we can. So there we go. Alright, whack those guys on right there, whack them on the back as well. We will need some tools, so we're actually going to make them smaller, but put them there. Okay, put these guys on this side, make them smaller and whack them on right about there. Okay, very good. And that's actually Van Dabby Dozy. We're then going to actually add a little gun. Uh, and I think we'll actually put that there. Ooh, this is interesting. Yeah. So we're going to lift this up to about here. Alright, we're going to put the little gun right next to it. And that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, viewports. Driver's seat. Big, 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 big. There we go. And that actually looks... That looks really good. I like it. Uh, antennas will be necessary, but we will do this first. Okay, okay. So we fit this on just like so. But like fit it on so that it fits right there. That looks good to me, I think. Yes. Stowages, I would love to put these on, but they don't really fit very well, so we won't. We will have a basket on the back, however, because it just makes sense. So there we go. Basket on the back. Awesome. Lights. We don't have the rear lights, so we'll put those on. There we go. And 
That's okay. Alrighty. So, because it is actually an interwar tank, we will be adding some r some riveted parts. So we're going to go ahead and put these guys on like this. On both sides. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and put this bit right here. Oh, God. Smaller, but right here on both sides of here. There we go. And then actually, same place down here, because that looks awesome. I'm going to get rid of the spare tracks. I don't think they look that nice, so we're going to get rid of those. And we are going to angle the back end in just a little bit. The light still works. That's good. And yes, it looks ugly, but it will work. Oh, it should work anyway. Right. Okay. So with that being said, then, uh, what is taking up so much room in here? The turret basket. Okay. Go here, go to here and get rid of the diameter of this guy a little bit. Okay. Right. There we go. So that got rid of a little bit of the turret basket. Uh, the transmission's taking up quite a lot. Fuel tanks. Oh God. How much fuel is in this? 800 liters. That's why. Okay. 50. There we go. All right, that dropped the fuel tank all the way down to the bottom. Amazing. Uh, rounds? We're actually going to get rid of all of the rounds inside of the hull. There we go. Get rid of all of those. Get rid of all of those. Awesome. We still need to make up so much room. So, so much room. Oh, God. Okay, right. We need loads, loads more room in there. Uh, crew. We're actually going to get rid of one crew member. Uh, I think. Although, they're all in the turret, so it doesn't really matter. It's only the driver... Uh, in there. Okay, transmission. We are going to do it differently, aren't we? We're actually going to go straight in with the other transmission. Powertrain. Clutch braking. Ooh! Okay, right, that dropped it quite a bit. We still have quite a lot to actually get done here, though, so... How do we do this? I don't know. I don't know! Oh, actually, idea, idea, idea. Crew, we are going to get rid of one. There we go, the gunner is going to do two jobs. And that's fine. That then means that the base, the turret, the basket, can actually be a lot smaller. There we go. Very good. That is fantastic, actually. Uh, if I lift this up, we get more room, right? But if we lower it down, we also get less room, but that's okay. All right, we're going to lift it a tiny bit. Boop. Boop. There we go. All right, cool. This is starting to look all right, actually. We still weigh 17 tons, though, so we still weigh too much. Uh, and we still need to get rid of some stuff in here as well. <sighs> okay, right. Uh, hull armor. Let's start getting rid of some, shall we? Yeah, there we go. 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 Okay, we can actually get rid of a hell of a lot of armor here. Sides lower. We're going to go with 40. We're also going to go with 40 on the top. Uh, front. Let's work on this. The upper section is going to be 40. It is angled, of course. Midsection is going to be 40 also. There we go. Then this bit on the lower is going to be 40. And the sponsor is going to be 40. You guessed it. Okay, sponsor, 40. Okie dokie. Let's make them all millimeters. There we go. Sides are 40. Uh, rear is actually going to be 30. There we go. 30, 30, 30, 30, and 30. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So that's all going to work. Uh, and that means we now have space. We can now run the tanks. Amazing. However, this needs armor now, and it will need more room. So we're going to have to figure this out. Anyway, ring is going to be maximum. Uh, side is going to be 40. There we go. Roof is going to be 10. That's okay. Front, 60. Okay. Cheeks, 30. 30. There we go. Roof, 10. Rear, 10. Cheeks, uh, ooh, 25, okay, and then 25, there we go, and then roof, yeah, okay, no, this should work, are we missing stuff, yeah, the commander's thing, okay, and that is obviously going to go on the top, but then, we're actually done, yeah, okay, there we go, make this small, put it over to the side, there we go, and that actually looks pretty good, alright, livery, this is the most important part of every single tank you build, guys. The livery. Okay, so saturation lower. Hue up a little bit. There we go. We're going to have a blue tank. Who would have thought that we would have a blue tank? Me. There we go. Slightly blue. No, we're not. We're not actually going to have a blue tank. We're going to have a, a greenish tank. There we go. Kind of like this. That's sick colored. Rough. Yeah, okay. Metallic. No. Alright, hue. 
There, we're gonna we're gonna roll with this. It looks weird. This tank actually looks pretty bad, but that's okay. Condition, pretty awful. Uh, there is more things that we do actually need to do. We need to go to the engine. We need an exhaust. All right, we're gonna roll with probably these because I always roll with these guys. So let's go ahead and put these on the bottom of the back. There we go. That's pretty hot. Pretty hot and spicy. Go ahead and put these guys over here. There we go, because that just works. There we go. Fuel, extra fuel if we need it, can actually go into here. We'll have one uh, extra barrel. There we go. That should do. All right, now decals. Let's go ahead and put something on here. Not sure what we want, but we'll fit something. How about we actually put a... Is this a Polish symbol? Mm, possibly. Possibly. That looks quite good. I think we'll go with that. Alright, and then we'll have another one by itself down here on the front. And we'll leave that like that. That looks nice. Yeah. Alright, good. Good. Is that a Polish thing? I'm not sure. Uh, right. Okay. So, I think we're ready to fight. Let's go. Do I get any spare tanks? I get one extra tank. Okay, gun elevation. Let's do this. Okay, I don't know how powerful my gun is or how useful it's going to be. <gasps> Woo! Oh my god, look at that burning on me. Jesus. All right, let's go, guys. Come on. We got this. I think this tank's going to do all right. Not going to lie. Okay, shoot that one. Okay, amazing. Okay, continue. Kill them as we go. Okay, I knocked his front doors in, apparently. Is he dead? I think that one's dead. I'm going to assume so. Is there any more? That one's dead. Oh, there's one. I can't quite see it, though. No, we need to aim higher. But that's okay. Guys, we've actually killed them all. Already. This thing is great. <laughs> this thing is actually really, really good. I like it. Okay, here we go. We're going in. And we're going to shoot you. Oh, my God. I lagged. I lagged a tiny bit. But that's okay. We're still good. It killed me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ruh -ruh raggy Okay, come on. There we go. We got it. Nice. And now it's me versus the world. All right, let's get in there. This is actually faster than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. This is way better than I thought it was going to be. Amazing. Oh, you sneaky boy. All right, cool. I think that one's still alive. The one behind. So I'm actually going to turn our turret around uh, and get ready to shoot that guy. Is it oh, my God. He's hit me. Did he hit me? I think he missed. Oh, now he hit me. Jesus, aim up. Aim up. There we go, we hit him, I think. Alright, keep driving. There we go, we got him. And now we just gotta take on the boss tank. And then we win. Amazing. Okay, so it is worth asking, uh, what tanks did you actually win this mission with? So if you guys have won this mission in this game, send me a picture of your tank on my Discord in the Sprocket channel. I wanna see what you guys won with. Yeah. Okie dokie, here we go. We are up against the uh, the final boss guy. We are going to have to shoot them because uh, otherwise they'll shoot me and I'll die. But, uh, oh boy. There we go. Victory. Alright, that was pretty easy. You died straight away, big boy. You died straight away. That's awesome. So my little Polish tank won the day. Nice. Okay, so although we did win with this thing, we are going to change a few things. We're going to go to this, and we're going to do that. There we go. That looks like an interesting uh, mix-up of things. We're actually going to go ahead and make it relatively green. There we go. Saturation quite low, but that's all right. Brightness quite low as well. We're going to roll with this. This seems like a nice color for it. All right, very cool. All right, there are a few things that we need to do. This section looks bad. Mobility, we need to be a little bit faster, if I can. So the engine, I'll load to 2 litre. I think we should go for a 6 cylinder if we can fit one. We can't. Unless it's a 1.5 litre. Mm, 1.5? 1.4 per cylinder. There we go. And we'll make some space somewhere. Like, I, I guess we can go to crew. And we can lower down the driver's thing. The 1. There we go. Alright, cool. So that's all good. Uh, is there anything else that we need to change? Anything else that we really, really need to change? I'm not sure. I, I think the rest of it is actually completely fine. Um, yeah. You know what? The rest of it is fine. That's that's it. That's it. Perfect. Yeah. I love this thing. It's great. 
Okie dokie then, let's go ahead and start again. We have a spare tank again, obviously. Uh, and we're going to start taking out the enemy as we go. Alright, that one didn't work, but let's continue. And you're dead. Alright, there we go. Continue, come up. Turn your butt around, your butt is not armoured. As much as you'd like to think, big boy. There we go. Oh my god, we're just one-shotting everything. This is amazing. All right, keep going. There's another tank up there on the hill. There we go. It's dead. Continue. Do 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 do. Follow me. There we go. Me and my uh my tank battalion. This one guy. <laughs> we are out of here. Come on, let's go. Oh, they tried to sneak up on us. Oh, actually. Oh, actually. There we go. All right, continue. Come on. Let's go. Oakley dokley, are we going to finish this mission again? It is worth testing your tanks twice, just in case, because obviously sometimes you might have some issues, but in this situation I don't think we're going to. Uh, my tank back there is not following me, which I did really want him to. Uh, and I don't know if we're going to make it up this hill. We are speeding up again, so maybe we will, maybe we won't. Is that guy dead? I think so. Yeah, we're not making it up this hill. It is worth saying, actually, we are using the different transmission this time. So, um, I don't know, it drives a little bit differently to normal. Yeah. Also, big hills, just not very good for this thing. Not gonna lie. la di da di da la di da di da We've won the game, this thing is amazing. It actually works out really, really nicely, so... We're gonna continue, we're gonna take on the boss tank at the end, and we're gonna say GG from there on. Okie dokie, we are getting pretty close. There we go. Oh, it's the World War One like, weird slug thing. I mean, I like it. I'm not gonna lie. That tank is pretty cool, but it might demolish me. I think it's got a pretty big cannon on it. Oh, God. Okay, maybe it doesn't. It didn't kill me. Uh-oh. Right, shoot it in its side. Come on. It's offered its side to us, and we can't kill it. That's not that good. <laughs> That's not amazing. All right, we need to get flat with it. Here we go. I think I might have damaged it quite a bit, because it doesn't seem to be moving anymore. Why aren't you moving? Oh, he is moving. There we go. Shoot it in the side, and we win the game. Awesome. All right. We victorized. Amazing. Right. Well, anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more missions be done, then let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see what I can do. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. If you guys like this, uh, make sure you like the video down below. That's awesome. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.